another little job. It lies behind this area and it is to remove the control head of my autopilot and replace the LCD screen because it's uh, gone, gone to God as they say. It's no longer working. Well, I'm not so sure that that was supposed to come out that way, but it's out and I'd say the other one will come out the same way. Shouldn't be a big drama, I don't think. Right, well there you have it. It's quite heavy actually, this unit. Yeah. yeah, that display is gone skin. Probably due to moisture coming in before I got that coat on it. So now we have a hole there. I better uh, just make up something to cover that in case we get some rain. So the time has come to try to restore this the LCD screen is stuffed because I think this little crack allowed moisture to get in at one point. Um, someone actually stole the cover off this, which didn't help. Uh, so we're going to try to replace the LCD screen. Uh, do not force anything, especially the black LCD frame. The split pins can break and they, they are essential for a good contact. Take your time, go slow. The grey case may easily be chipped. It is also prone to cracks. Well, we know that. Step one, remove eight screws from the back of the case. Eight screws. I'm guessing they're under this little bit of gasket. All right, we'll get that off. Ah, yes, I can see a screw under there. So, that rubbery bit but then there's like a bit of a papery bit so you want to get looks like you want to get right under there please come easily yes So if we can get this fixed for whatever it was, 180 or 200 or whatever it was, I'll be amazed. Okay, so it just says remove eight screws from the back of the case, pull the back of the case away from the front. Do not use any pry tools, you may crack the case. But it, at the start it did say you can use them to, uh, to help if need be. Uh, it says something about the lower, which I'm guessing would be this one. Get some pliers on it and lift it out. This does not look good. This is water dripping out of these screw holes. I got a funny feeling this is going to be stuffed. Look at that. I just tipped it over. I was playing around with it. And as soon as I thought I'd sort of got it a little bit. Yeah, water's just started pouring out of it. Oh my God, look at it go. There's no way this is going to work. There is no way that this will be salvageable. What a shame. Still coming out. How much water can one thing hold? Oh my goodness. Oh, far out. That's terrible. That is so bad. Well, at least... Far out. Look how much bloody water's in this thing. It just keeps coming out. So now there's three screws somewhere. Oh, yeah, there. One, two, three. Take them off, move that out. Blah, 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 blah. Far out. Disappointing. That's the, that's the bit that's supposed to be on there. Imagine if I got it going again, that'd be hilarious, but it's not going to happen. Alright, well, 
I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to be able to fix this. No way in the world. But let's uh, just pull it apart anyway, just for the hell of it. Maybe you guys will gain something from the process. Maybe I will. screws, it's out of the case, some black pins, there, those two, one, two, three, four, something about, gotta be careful with them because they'll crack, so at this point I'm just thinking what parts are salvageable in case I was able to get another unit like this, so this outside casing I suppose is, but we can't trust it because it's leaked. This, yeah, that's probably going to clean up all right. Maybe, maybe. A couple of bits there, I mean, they're all just plastic. So, um, they'll probably clean up okay. Uh, no, we're not going to worry about the screen. And we're not going to worry about the circuit board. And we're not going to worry about that. We should keep them. All right guys, well this just came in the post and it's the replacement head control unit. And it looks all right, you know, it's definitely second hand. These things aren't brand new. They're, uh, they've got a bit of age to them these days. But as a solution to my problem, it's an $800 fix as opposed to a $3,500 fix. So it should just plug straight in if it works and it should just plug straight in and Bob's your uncle will be off and running again ready to go let's have a look see there's that glitch I don't like in it it's got a bit of a ding in the screen anyway it looks like it doesn't have any sort of backing so I might try and cut out a rubber gasket for that I think pretty simple process really Unscrew the thumb nuts, push it on. It's tempting to put a bit of like, butyl on this. Let's see. Well, that's a start. Funny how a five second job ends up taking longer. Look at this. That's the replacement, and that's the existing. Look at those lengths. Well, I sure am glad that I didn't throw these ones out. Look at the difference in length. I'm guessing these were cut when it was fit into the other boat and that they probably originally came nice and long but i'll clean these up and make them functional and then they will go in the new unit lucky lucky just here the bloody thread locker bottle's got a hole in the side of it don't know how that's happened too much on that i might just let a bit of that drip off soon Whack this in here. That feels good, and that feels good. We look like we're in, guys. As long as this one gets nice and tight. My two second job that turned into a two hour job is now back to, back on track. Happy days, now we can just hook all these back up and we'll be right. I've got to remember what goes where. So I hate to say it, but this job's going to continue to be delayed because, check this out, I don't know if you can see it, but I can. So that's with the two threads in, and I've loosened it a bit, but there's play in and around here, which means moisture can get in and around there. So going to get some butyl so the good thing about this butyl is that it just takes any irregularities out of the join between this which is nice and flat 
and the hull which probably isn't perfectly flat. And then this has now got enough room to expand out and in and around but not all over the unit itself hopefully all right we'll try again this time yes look at that now as i tighten that up that'll sort of squeeze out a bit you can see it's starting to squeeze out here. So there's nothing left to do but wire it up. And although I did take lots of photos, um, I have backed them up to a hard drive, so I'm not sure. But the good thing is I put a little bit of red tape around here, which I normally do if something's power, just as a reminder. And also those little terminal ends on the wire only go there, and then the drive is a different size, so much smaller. So I'm pretty confident that at least these will be wired up correctly and then all of these are colour coded. So I reckon even without all my beautiful photography and great record keeping that's sitting on a hard drive somewhere, I reckon I'm going to be able to wire it up and see if it works. So let's have a go shall we? We should hear a beep. Um, I'll point you up there and we'll see if we hear it. Oh yeah, hello. Well that's something. Oh. And then I just heard the um, the wheel do a little thing. So something's happening. Let's have a look here. Hang on. is a relief. Simple things in life, eh? But this thing, we actually call him, as a crew member, we call him Ray, because he's Raytheon. But he will save us so much bloody grief. What's going on here? Oh, that's what we want. I love it, I love it. 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 Starting to sound like Peter Knowles. Latest update on the delivery. We now have a very pretty sun cover for our gauges. And beyond that, we now have gauges. And it works. Oh, we're in standby. Let's go. 10 degrees to port. Well, thank you. Let's take it back. The first mate of the boat, Ray, is back. Big old Ray. Happy day. 